Section 17.4, Solubility Equilibria. The equilibria that we've considered thus far in this chapter has involved acids and bases. Furthermore, they've been homogeneous, that is, all the species have been in the same phase. Through the rest of the chapter, we'll consider the equilibria involved in the dissolution or precipitation of ionic compounds. These reactions are heterogeneous. The dissolving and precipitating of compounds are phenomena that occur both within us and around us. Tooth enamel dissolves in acidic solution, for example, causing tooth decay. The precipitation of certain salts in our kidney produces kidney stones. The waters of the earth contain salts dissolved in water passes over through the ground. Precipitation of calcium carbonate from groundwater is responsible for the formation of stalactites and stalagmites within limestone caves. In our earlier discussion of precipitation reactions, we considered some general rules for predicting the solubility of common salts in water. These rules gave us a qualitative sense of whether a compound will have a low or high solubility in water. By considering solubility equilibria, in contrast, we can make quantitative predictions about the amount of a given compound that will dissolve. We can also use these equilibria to analyze the factors that affect solubility. The solubility product constant, K sub sp. Recall that a saturated solution is one in which the solution is in contact with undissolved state. Consider, for example, a saturated aqueous solution of barium sulfate that is in contact with solid barium sulfate. Because the solid is an ionic compound, it's a strong electrolyte and yields barium ions and sulfate ions upon dissolving. The following equilibrium is readily established between undissolved solid and hydrated ions in solution. As with any other equilibrium, the extent to which the dissolution reaction occurs is expressed by the magnitude of the equilibrium constant. Because this equilibrium equation describes the dissolution of a solid, the equilibrium constant indicates how, how soluble the solid is in water and, it, and is preferred to the solubility product constant or simply the solubility product. It's denoted by K S sub P, where S sub P stands for solubility product. The equilibrium constant expression for the equilibrium between a solid and an aqueous solution of its component ions is written according to the rules that apply to any equilibrium constant expression. Remember, however, that solids do not appear in the equilibrium constant expression for heterogeneous equilibria. Thus, the solubility product expression for barium sulfate is based upon equation 1715, which is K S sub P is equal to the concentration of barium ion times the concentration of sulfate ion. In general, the solubility product of a compound equals the product of the concentrations of ions involved in the equilibrium, each raised to the power of the coefficient of the equilibrium equation. The coefficient for each ion in the equilibrium reaction also equals its subscript in the chemical uh, formula. The values of K S sub P at 25 Celsius for many ionic solids are tabulated in Appendix D. The value of K S sub P for barium sulfate is 1.1 times 10 to the negative 10, a very small number, indicating that only a very small amount of the solid will dissolve in water. Solubility in K sub S P. It's important to distinguish carefully between solubility and the solubility product constant. The solubility of a substance is the quantity that dissolves to form a saturated solution. Solubility is often expressed in grams per, of solute per liter of solution. Molar solubility is the number of moles of solute that dissolve in forming a liter of saturated solution of the solute. The solubility product constant is the equilibrium constant for the equilibrium between an ionic solid and its saturated solution and is a unitless number. Thus, the magnitude of K S sub P is a measure of how much of the dissol solid dissolves to form the saturated solution. The solubility of a substance can change considerably as the concentrations of other solutes change. The solubility of magnesium hydroxide, for example, depends highly on the pH. The solubility is also affected by the concentrations of other ions in solution, especially magnesium uh, ion. In contrast, the solubility product constant, K S sub P, has only one value for a given solute at any specific temperature. In principle, it's possible to use the K S sub P value of a salt to calculate the solubility under a variety of conditions. 
In practice, great care must be taken to do, doing so for reasons indicated in a closer look, limitations of solubility products. At the end of this section, agreement between measured solubility and that calculated from KSP is usually best for salts whose ions have very low charges and do not hydrolyze. Figure 1714 summarizes the relationships among various expressions of solubility and KSP. Figure 1714. Relationships between solubility and KSP. The solubility of any compound in grams per liter can be converted into molar solubility. The molar solubility can be used to determine the concentrations of ions in solution. The concentrations of ions can be used to calculate KSP. The steps can be reversed and solubility calculated from KSP.